What up, what up, what up, what up? Y'all already know who it is. Urban Culture here. Coming at you again. I hope you've had a phenomenal weekend. I hope things have been going excellent for you. Because they've been going excellent for me. Straight up. Anyways, though, let's not waste no time. Let's jump into that juice that we got here. Starting off with Cardi B responding to these insane Stefan Diggs cheating rumors listen to what she had to say check this out the internet is insane all these rumors are fucking crazy that's why i don't want to address it because i feel like it's funny i'm gonna just let it i'm gonna just let it ride out because i think it's cute it's funny and i don't let people think what they want to think and also don't pay attention to these don't pay attention to the to the online Make sure y'all get your WAP coins. Make sure y'all get your little WAP coins. And I'm not hacked. And yeah, I got a lot of surprises coming up. Everything is lining up perfectly. Um, And everything is coming out right. So yeah, just wanted to say that. Bye. Straight up. Very simple. Very straight to the point. I'm going to let this just slide. She's like, it don't even really matter for real, for real. And I say, you know what, Cardi? I rock with you. I can appreciate that approach to the situation because everybody got something to say. I ain't going to spend no energy on it, but we ain't going to end on our Cardi note right there. We got a little bit more of Cardi to talk about. What in the world is this? You got Cardi talking about how she says she was chosen by God to be famous. Says I was picked by Jesus. Check this out. This has been some real weird shit that been going on. And this has been happening all year and all last year. I want to tell y'all something. A lot of people that have been doing to me, I suggest y'all not to do to me. Because let me tell you something. I cannot touch everybody. Okay? I cannot touch everybody. And I'm not a person that is like, I, I'm going to get my get back. I'm going to get my lick back. I'm going to get this person this. I'm going to get this person that. Because I... I just can't like it's like I can't fight the world but let me tell you something when you think that you're gonna do something to me on purpose to hurt me it is gonna come back to you it always come back to you I promise you if you if you feel like you're gonna be petty to me or if you a bitch or nigga that feel like you're gonna be petty to me I promise you I promise you you're going to get a day in your life that you're gonna be on your fucking knees Asking yourself, damn, why am I going through this? What did I do that I'm going through this? Shit? And you wanna know what and you wanna know something? The image of my fucking face is gonna come up in your mind. You're gonna go through because you fuck with me. And you wanna know why? It's not cause I'm a fucking witch, like y'all make a scene cause I'm Dominican, y'all be thinking I'm doing black magic. No, it's cause I'm fucking anointed. I was picked by Jesus. No, no, I'm literally, I'm one of, I'm really one of God's kids. You want to know why I'm really one of God's kids? You want to know how I know I'm anointed? Let me tell you how I know I'm anointed, right? Because you know how many strippers are in America, in the world? You know how many strippers are in America? You know how many have a fat You know how many could rap? And God chose me to be famous. All right, so straight up. Hell no. Hell no. Look, I got an opinion just like the next person. People forget there's two sides to every coin. You got God and you got the person that he uh <laughs> banished from heaven. We ain't going to look. We ain't going to go down the road. We ain't going to do this. I ain't going to jump into a religious tip. But that really does grind my gears. When someone carries themselves a certain type of way. And then they still start throwing everything as if God told them to do these things that are <sighs> definitely against the word that he <laughs> against the word that goes to religion. But I mean, we're living in a day where everybody just conforms it to however they see fit. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to just turn that to y'all. I'll leave that to y'all. Whatever y'all think about it, I would love to understand y'all's approach or at least your opinion about cardi b's 
um, self anointedness. <laughs> but let me know. So we're just gonna go ahead and shift gears to a different subject now. <clears throat> Let's hop on somebody. Sounds weird if I say hop on to somebody. Let's hop to a subject to someone that we don't really talk about much. We got Dr. Dre as he's being sued for $10 million for allegedly harassing and threatening his marriage counselor. So just starting off, we do have some text messages here. I believe that Dr. Dre is on the left and the, the other doctor is on the right. So it starts off with him saying prescriptions. Wow, you fucked with the wrong one. <clears throat> what happened, Doc? I thought you wanted to talk. Cat got your tongue. Hell yeah, no, I'm playing. You're gonna, have to, you're gonna have to give me a written apology. If not, I'm moving forward. I'm not playing, trust me. Hey doc, or whatever the fuck you pretended to be, just know this. I'm not going anywhere until you explain to me why you tried to talk blank into saying negative things about me to social media. I'm sorry, to media. You're a piece of shit. Don't worry. I haven't forgot about you. Excuse me? Yes, you. You're a piece of shit. Good morning. I have no idea what you are referring to and would make myself available anytime to discuss. Thank you. You fucked up. Just so you know, I love being underestimated. Blank and I selected you to be a trusted helping professional for blank blank time and need. You stayed on our couple's counselor and then as blank primary therapist during our divorce. All ethical breaches of conduct. From there, you inserted yourself into the divorce. Ooh, we're getting some we getting some Gucci Wooch about that. Some of this nastiness is going on. Hold up. Somebody need to get punched in they and they, you know what I'm saying? That's actually really wild. Somebody inserting themselves. You're supposed to be a therapist, and I'm trusting you to help God as the best way possible, but you just over here trying to convince this person, hey, look, just say some nasty shit about this man. Y'all need to break up for real, for real. That shit crazy. Now, don't get me wrong. I do know Dre was going in on them text messages, or if that was him, he was definitely going in uh, a little bit more antagonistic, but he has a reason to be. Um, all in all, though, he's been sued by Dr. J, uh, Dr. Charles J. Sophie. And he's still trying to hit him for that $10 million, which is crazy, but also a restraining order against Dr. Dre. So it looked like he's trying to make him a good little come up. I don't know if he's going to come up at all, but that shit kind of wild if you ask me. But I turn that to y'all. That is 100% wild, but still staying on a little bit of the Dr. Dre, or at least that, uh, that coastal shit. You know what I'm saying? We got Kendrick Lamar, JK. We got J. Cole addressing Kendrick and Drake on new song port antonio i ain't gonna even lie that track kind of slap why that shit bruh. that shit bruh. <laughs> nah that track is actually low-key pretty dope I, uh i don't even know why i said low-key that track was actually pretty hot i like that i really did like it with that being said he did have something on there that apparently was Push towards Kendrick, where he said, I pulled the plug because I seen where it was about to go. They wanted blood, they wanted clicks, and they wanted their pockets to grow. They see this fire in my pen and think I'm dodging smoke. I wouldn't have lost a battle dog. I would have lost a bro. I would have ganked a foe. I ain't gonna lie, that shit hot. <laughs> But I mean, it's a little late to address the situation as it goes on or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? It ain't even like he just. So just jump into the next thing we got here. Uh, you got Drake's daughter allegations seemingly being debunked by some quote unquote leaked DMs. Check this out. So, of course, as y'all know, Kendrick and Drake had they beef or at least they um, they back and forth going on this year. And in one of the songs, Meet the Grams, which is crazy, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Kendrick had talked about Drake hiding a second child from the world, a daughter. And so everybody just went in, you know what I'm saying? You know how fans are, the internet gets. And they ended up uh, tracking down a lady that they believe was to be his other baby mother that he was, tr that he was hiding. Well, DJ Academics has some screenshots 
uh, that date back to 2018. And they appear to be from this woman uh, that is Drake's quote unquote other baby mama, but she was uh, DMing Drake. And the screenshots, of course, very, uh, very straightforward. Basically, the lady is talking to Drake and she says, hello, hope all is well on your tour. I know you must get a million requests for this, but my baby Eternity is five and she really adores you. Eternity, I have tickets, uh, sorry, ticks to, to your, your Los Angeles show and she really just wants to meet you. I will pay anything to make this happen for my five-year-old, please. And then it was, you know, five high five slash praying emojis, what people usually think they are. Uh, thank you, sent with much respect. So of course in the caption of a DJ Academics is saying like if the messages from the woman that Kendrick fans are claiming to be Drake's other baby mama, this is from 2018. So obviously she's hitting up Drake to meet him, which makes it impossible he is the father. And that's, you know, that's his takeaway from it. That's Mr. Academics takeaway, but I'm gonna leave that to y'all. How y'all feel about that? I think it's still funny that, you know, this reminds me of when DJ Academics friends was going in on him about how he, give so much support to Drake but Drake just kind of uses his platform so that he could get some information out <laughs> but y'all let me know what y'all think y'all how y'all feel about it I, honestly I don't even care to be honest like I feel like Meet the Grams is still a phenomenal song you know what I'm saying but uh I don't know it's easy to finagle some things up and uh make things go a certain type of way but let's shift over to somebody who's Probably gonna have a lot more problems finagling in this time frame. Diddy, and more specifically, his judge offers him the court date for 2025 RICO trial. So after a hearing on October 10th, we now have that the start date for uh, his trial with the sex trafficking is uh, set for May 5th, 2025. In addition, Diddy was trying to secure bail for the third time. With that being said, which currently we have no information on as far as a, a confirmation if he was able to do that. But there has been a discovery hearing set for the 18th. And in that, uh, Diddy's attorneys requested a, a gag order over the allegation of agents have been leaking grand jury information and making other prejudicial statements. But federal prosecutors also hinted that at future charges, uh, being added to the original indictment since the investigation is still going on in all of this basically it seems like things are about to get hectic and a little bit more chaotic but we're gonna see how that turns out let's uh i feel like there's gonna be more information that pops up everything now is gonna seem like allegations are just additional until the 18th where we start getting some real updates on the case as far as its progress but going over to somebody else that is extremely controversial but controversial but has been controversial for a long time kanye west is getting sued by a man he hired to investigate the kardashians alleged sex trafficking wow so basically one of kanye's former employees uh by employees again he was just an investigator that kanye had hired uh is suing kanye right now because he allegedly threatened to kill him now the guy is leaving his identity a secret for fears of his safety, but he filed on the 10th of October and he's alleging emotional distress, retaliation, and several violations of California labor codes. Now, according to the, uh, the suit, this man also claims that Kanye hired him back in December, 2022, uh, for his presidential campaign. Initially, he was hired as a deputy campaign director uh, and then made into the director of intelligence. So it was under that role that he was tasked with investigating some associates and enemies of Kanye, including the family of his ex-wife, Kim Kardashian, for, quote unquote, supposed various links Kanye believed that they had with criminal enterprises, including alleged sex trafficking. He also claimed that Kanye had asked him to hire private investigators to follow his current wife, Bianca, uh, without her knowledge when she was visiting her family in the home country of Australia. He claims that his relationship with Kanye uh, began a fracture earlier this year when he was tipped off about alleged child abuse at Kanye's Troubled Donda Academy School. And around that same time, Kanye began to let go a large majority of the Yeezy leadership and consume nitrous oxide, 
which he suspects contributed to his erratic quote unquote behavior. So after he informed the senior Yeezy employees about the concerning allegations at the school, he started receiving angry phone calls from Kanye in which Kanye threatened him with great bodily injury, including death, if he were to repeat any of those child abuse claims. Also, apparently Kanye has sent him some scary voices threatening harm against him with threats also being made by Kanye's enforcers. With that, of course, uh, John Doe, the man making the claim, said that these threats and intimidation and harassment triggered his PTSD, which stems from his time in the military, resulting in him entering a mental health treatment facility. With that, the man's attorney, Ron Zambrano, says that Ye has only himself to blame for these mounting legal woes. He just can't continue hiring employees, treating them terribly, then refusing to pay them in violation of numerous employment laws, let alone threaten to kill them as he did in this case. Our client is so fearful of, Ky uh, of Ye and his erratic, disturbing and unpredictable behavior, unpredictable behavior that he wishes to remain anonymous for his own safety. It's not only illegal, but unconscionable that an employer would threaten an, any employee with bodily harm or death. And of course, Kanye has yet to respond to these allegations, which 100% is still just some wild wildness for the boy. I know he's going through some stuff, but that's something else to keep up with. We're going to have to get some more of that juice later, but we're going to go ahead and slide to somebody who has been in and out again of the news. Why did I say news so goddamn hard like that? Hey, hey, y'all didn't hear that. Delete that from y'all memory. We got Dame Dash chose to delay evacuating his family from Florida to not look soft. Hold on. Y'all check this out. The last hurricane was last week. That was nothing. But the one before that, that tore our dock up. We flat broke out, right? And that was when we first got there. I wasn't ready to be dealing with no fucking hurricanes in Florida. But this one, we were like, all right, we're going to try to like grind it out and stay because none of our neighbors were leaving. And the people that we knew that are from Florida, like every day, all day, were like, yo, y'all, it kind of seemed like we were soft if we was leaving. Pause. So I'm like, you know, look at, I'm looking at the news. And I'm looking at like our 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 algorithm. So like when the fires happened in Malibu, we ended up right in smack dab the middle of the fire. I had to drive through it, and it's like, yo, damn, the whole world's talking about this, and we in it. And then even when we were in Wyoming this summer at the ranch, the fire that everyone was talking about. It wasn't right where we were at, but it was close enough that we could smell it. And I'm like, damn, why are we always in the mix? And of course we get here and the illest hurricane, they, they started to not even call it a five. They talk about making up a new number for it, like a, a six. And I'm like, of course we probably end up right in the thick of things and be challenged you know, we'd work it out, but who wants to be uncomfortable? Plus, with a baby and four dogs. And then Rocky started stressing a little, and Nicolette, and all the people that were calling. And finally, we were like, yo, let's just get up out of here, right? Long well, we could get gas, we got a place to go. You know, you always kind of have to have, you know, if you live in a place where, you know, natural disasters happen, like hurricanes, like once a year, you got to have a hurricane house on deck to go to. So, you know, we've developed that, we figured it out, so we know where we're going amongst family and all that. But I'm sick of this shit, I ain't gonna hold you. So I'm chilling with my man, let's go. Say what up? What's poppin'? We evacuated? Yeah. Yeah, we was out, right? We just mad because we can't play golf. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, that's just, I, I get it to an extent if you just get tired of shit, but at the same time, man, Get your family to safety. If it was really no big deal or something like that, I can understand. Like, ah, we, we ain't got nowhere to go. Or even to the point of it's not as bad. It's already, you know, reduced and ain't going to be no damage. But for the thought of I don't want to look soft or appearance soft. Come on now. Now, granted, I'm still glad he got it, got his stuff together, got up and he still got his family out of there. You know, finally making that decision. But 
I mean, maybe it's, you know what? I'm gonna leave that to y'all again. <laughs> you know, I don't, I ain't gonna know all say y'all, but I remember when Katrina hit, I remember when Ike hit and you know, my mama was at, um, she was at work at the time. There was still uh, the whole hospital had ended up shutting down, but you know, they still had patients and stuff, but my uncles came, I ended up leaving with my uncles and we ended up having, uh, heading out to Dallas or whatnot. But during the hurricanes, it's like, look, if we can make something happen, get you to safety, we gonna get you to safety. Like, let's take the chances to do what we need to do. Better that you drive out somewhere or leave somewhere and then nothing gets damaged where you was, then you stay and shit gets fucked up. Excuse my language. But still, I'll leave that to y'all. How y'all feel about it? I don't know if y'all ever dealt with evacuations. I don't know uh, the age groups of people that sitting here who had to deal with some of that stuff. But what do y'all do? Do y'all feel like that was a, a valid reason to keep your family where it is? You know, probably with the money he got, he was going to be able to buy some safety from the uh, shares of Rockefeller he shared. Anyways, moving to something else. We got Bailey finally breaking silence after her breakup with Didi. G. Now, granted, it wasn't even a crazy, huge, major saying of anything. She basically had a little photo dump that she posted on Instagrizzy. Instagram, sorry, I will never say that again. I do apologize, guys. Please forgive me for saying that. And um, again, I, uh, I greatly do apologize for even mentioning that. Yeah, so she posted a little photo dump of her in the gym, of course, you know, with her child. Uh, in a pool certain things like that and then out having a drink so it's not nothing wild but the caption is life is beautiful and it's just you know a lot of silence and then i'm still gonna keep going on and on uh and i do i think that's very tactful you know what i'm saying i'm, I'm not doing nothing crazy i ain't saying f him he ain't this his head game weak none of that got my baby i got my workouts and i got my relaxation life is beautiful I love it. What y'all think about that? You know what I'm saying? Especially in comparison with uh, how DDG has been a little bit more vocal. Um, granted, he is uh, upset with Joe Budden, but y'all let me know what y'all think about that. I think it's a, uh, I think it's a beautiful update, personally. But as y'all already know, urban culture here. I greatly appreciate your time. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you a returner, thank you for your time, your your attention. You know, y'all be sure to like, comment, share. As I said earlier, subscribe and y'all just be ready for some more juice. Deuce.